Hello friends, apart from having a good core connection, one other important element to improve your posture is to have a strong, mobile, stable hip joint. So this class, we are going to focus on releasing and strengthening our hip muscles. So let's begin. We're going to start lying on our back in supine position and lift the knees, grab the knee joint and we're going to start with some hip circles. So we bring the thigh towards you, opening the legs out, circling away and bring it together. In towards you, out and then in towards you, out, away, together. Two more. Just breathe naturally in this exercise. Last one. And let's reverse away. So we start with mobilizing our hip joint. And out to you, together and away. Out and together and away. Two more. Last one. All right, bring the legs towards you. Now I'd like you to release the left leg down on the floor and stretch the left leg out. Dorsiflex the foot. Keep the right knee to you or right thigh to you. Compress the hip here as you inhale. Exhale, release. One more. Inhale, compress the hip. Exhale, release. And now reach the left arm up over your head. Now as you inhale, I like you to lengthen the left leg away from the center and reach the left arm away from your center, reaching out and release the last one reach out release bring the left foot in take the left knee up release the right foot down stretch the right leg long dorsiflex the right foot compress the left thigh to your chest as we in breath exhale release one more inhale compressed Exhale. Okay, now stretch the left leg, sorry, the right leg long and take the right arm overhead. And then reach the leg and the arm away from the center and let it go. Again, reach the arm and the leg away from the center and let it go. Take the right foot in and place it on the floor and then release the left leg down as well okay now take your arms down by the side have your feet hip width distance apart so about a fist between your heels and your toes moving on to our pelvic curl we in breath exhale as we use your abdominal muscle to imprint the lower spine to the floor you rock the pelvis up and then articulate the rest of the spine up to the bridging position inhale at the top exhale we roll it down articulating the spine and release back to the neutral position let's do three more times we exhale we roll up press the feet Lift the pelvis up, opening the chest, inhale, exhale, we roll down, release the pelvis back to neutral, two more times, exhale, we roll up again, up to the bridging position, inhale, exhale, we roll down again, and release the last one we're going to stay up exhale we roll up to the bridging position we stay hold the pelvis high now dorsiflex the feet meaning lift the toes and the feet up keep the heels down hold the height of the pelvis we're just going to stay here for five four three two one lower the feet down one more time Lift the toes and the feet up. Keep the heels down. Stay. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower the feet down and go ahead and roll the spine down to the floor. Release. Well 
done. Half your feet wide. So you're touching the edge of the mat. Open your arms up to the T position. Let's go to our hip roll seal. I'm gonna to go to my right. We drop the legs, the knees to the right side. Pull back to center. And then drop the legs to the left. Exhale, back to center. Again, over to the right. Exhale, back to center. Over to the left. Exhale, back to center. One more each side to the right here. And center. Last one to the left. Back to center. Well done. Walk your feet back to your hip distance apart. Arms down by the side. Stabilize the pelvis. Lift one leg up to tabletop. Hold. As you exhale, we switch the leg for our leg changes. And we breathe out. Holding the center. Stabilizing the sacrum, the pelvis, and the lower spine. And we switch. And we switch, two more sets, last set, hold both legs up to tabletop, draw in the center a little deeper, stabilize the trunk, and then take the left foot down only, hold that. Now what we're going to do, we're going to lower the right leg down, slide the leg long, dorsiflex the foot, take the leg up, Point, bend, lower the right down, and then stretch the leg dorsiflex, kick up, bend, and lower. Slide, dorsiflex, kick up, point, bend, one more time, lower, and slide, kick up, point, bend, and lower. Let's go, left leg up, pull in the center, and then we go down, slide, dorsiflex, kick up, bend, lower, slide, flex, kick up, bend, lower, slide, flex, foot up, bend, two more, lower, slide, dorsiflex the foot, up, kick, point, bend, last one, lower, slide, dorsiflex the foot, kick up, fall, and then lower. Let's take the right leg up to tabletop again. Open your arms to a T position. Stretch the right leg long, dorsiflex. Keep the leg in parallel position. We go across the body and swing it down and catch it up. And then exhale one round. And then inhale one round. Stabilize the pelvis. Movement from the hip. Last set, inhale one round. And then exhale, we hold. Let's go to the other direction. Out, down, across, in breath. And then exhale. Inhale one round. And then exhale. Two more sets, in breath. And then exhale. Last set, in breath. And then exhale, stay. Point, bend the knee, take the foot down. Left leg, take it up to the tabletop. Extend up. Dorsiflex. Let's go across the body. Down, away, in breath. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Get the pelvis constant and stable. And an in breath. Last set here. Exhale. Stay. The other way. Out, across, up. Inhale. And exhale. In breath. Exhale, two more sets, in breath. Exhale, last set. Exhale, point the foot, bend the knee, take the foot down. Well done, turn your body towards me. Lying sideways with the bottom arm long underneath you. Bend the knees, stack the legs, make sure the feet are aligned with your spine. I like it to keep a nice long spine. Have a gap underneath your waist lined. Okay, you can have your hand, your top hand, on the top of the pelvis like so. I want to stabilize the pelvis. We're going to move on to our glute series here. So the first one is called the clams. So we're gonna keep the bottom leg, the top leg will open, but I want you to stabilize the pelvis and not pull the pelvis back. And then we close. We inhale, we open, exhale, close. 
Inhale out, exhale close. As far as you can here with the opening. And then two more and close. Last one and close. Stretch the top leg long. Bring the bottom knee forward. Again, you can have the top hand on the pelvis here. I like it to relax the foot, so fluffy foot. And now lift the top leg up, stabilize the pelvis. And an exhale, lift. And then three, let's do eight here. And four, five, six, two more, seven. Last one, eight. Hold it floating. Bring the leg forward, folding at the hip. Take it up, down, and back. On two, on three, on four, and five, six, two more, seven, last one, eight, and hold. We're going to drop it down. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Take it back and release. Well done. Bring the knee in. Lie on your back for me, please. Now, let's take that working leg up on top of the other one. So that's my right leg. So externally rotate the leg and then lift the left leg up. And then hug it towards you. And you're going to use your right elbow to push the right thigh out. So we are stretching our glute, our bottom muscle of the leg that we just worked, which is our right leg, which is my right leg here. Stay here in breath and exhale. One more breath, exhale and release that. All right, roll to your side, come up. Let's go repeat again on the other side. Extend the bottom arm long, have your knees together, have your feet aligned with the spine, little gap underneath the waistline. You can have the top hand here onto our clamp. We open with the pelvis nice and stable. And two, and three, and four, five, six, Two more, seven, last one, eight. Okay, extend the top leg long, bring the bottom one in front of you. All right, lift the leg, floppy foot, and we'll lift, and lift. Keeping the gap underneath the waistline, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. We'll take it forward and up and down, and back, and forward, up, down, back, and three, up, down, back, and four, up, down, back, and five, up, down, back, and six, up, down, back, two more, seven, up, last one, Eight and hold. Let's drop it for a drop and catch one. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it down, bring it back, release, tuck the knees in, lie on your back for our glute stretch. So lift the left leg up, externally rotate at the hip, take the right leg up. Hand behind the right thigh. Use the left elbow to push the left thigh away. Whew. You can feel that stretch in that working glute. In breath. And exhale as you pull in a little closer, perhaps. One more. All right, let that go. Release the leg. Turn to your side and come up. All right, we're going to finish the class with a quick stretch. So I have my right leg in front of me. I have my left leg tucked under. I'm drawing up tall. My knee, my right knee and my right heel is aligned in one vertical alignment. Pulling my belly in, I tuck my pelvis under a little bit more. My abs is working, my arms are long. 
to the ceiling. Now we're going to press the pelvis forward a little bit more. So you feel the stretch in the, in the front of the left hip here. If you like to go further, put your weight on the right foot, straighten the left knee off. So you have a stronger or a deeper, a more challenging position for the hip flexor stretch. And then we take it down and stretch it out again. If you prefer to just keep the knee on the ground, you're absolutely welcome to do so. And one more. And then reach out, take it down. And now fold the pelvis back, dorsiflex the front foot, keep the spine long, lean forward and go into our hamstring stretch. Stay here, I want you to keep the back nice and long. And exhale, one more breath. Exhale, release, take the front leg back, left leg forward. Let's repeat on the other side. Tuck the back toes under, knee, front knee and the heel in one vertical alignment. Pulling the pelvis under, pulling the abdominal muscle up, arms straight up to the ceiling. You may just stay in this position if you're feeling the stretch or if you like to be more challenged. We can extend the back knee off, but I want you to hold that center strong here and a knee down. Again, always keep the pelvis tucked under and a knee down. Two more, up and down. Last one, up and down. And pelvis back, tip the body forward. Keep the spine long, dorsiflex the front foot, straighten the front knee and lean away for your hamstring stretch. We in breath, exhale, one more, exhale, and let it go. Front leg back, and you are done for the day. Thank you for joining me. I wish you a lovely day. Congratulations on completing the class, well done. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.